Good morning, you guys. Coming to you from a very chilly Kelowna, British Columbia. Welcome back to Daily Driven Exotics. We have an exciting episode for you guys because we're doing yet another car delivery. This is a very special car for many reasons, which for right now, I can't quite get into it because it'll lead into giving away some of the other big things that we have coming to this channel in the next two weeks. So to start things off, try not to slip. It's very icy out here. It's very, very cold. We had an extreme weather front come in and we had temperatures as low as minus 23 without wind chill, with wind chill, minus 33 Celsius. Now today we're gonna take the good old TRX and it's been my trusty daily so far. I absolutely, absolutely love this truck. I didn't think I'd like a pickup truck as much as this, but once I got this, the power, the sound of the wine, the supercharger Hellcat, it is absolute perfection on four wheels, in my opinion. It looks mean, even as it's just a stock truck. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything to this. Maybe some wheels and tires into the spring. Maybe I do the upgrade and do 850 horsepower? A thousand horsepower? Dare we do a thousand horsepower? My wife might kill me. Just listen to the sound. What an absolute beast. So the choice for this car was simple. I want my collection to be diversified. I wanna have different sounds from different engines and different engine setups. I wanna have different driving experiences. I wanna have some manual cars. I wanna have some paddle shift cars. And some of those paddle shift cars can be different types of paddle shift, like DCT versus sequential. The whole goal of my collection is to have my ultimate dream lineup of cars that have V12s, V10s, twin turbos, supercharged, so on any given day, if I have a certain desire to go and drive my race car, for example, on the track, or I wanna cruise around in my straight pipe Murcielago with a manual gearbox, or maybe I feel like just being inside of a rocket and jumping inside the Senna or the 720 GTR for that matter. And those cars are very different for a couple of basic reasons. The 720 GTR will never be a long distance driving car. It just won't, you guys. To make 1300 wheel horsepower, it's on basically ethanol, with massive injectors and it takes a massive amount of fuel to power that car. And it has the same size fuel cell that it came from the factory and McLarens already have very, very low fuel capacity compared to like a Lamborghini. A Lamborghini has about 100 liters fuel capacity. The McLarens have about 78 liters. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it's a 22% difference. And then on top of that with the ethanol, it takes like 30%, I believe more volume of fuel to make the same amount of power as gasoline makes. So it just goes through that fuel. And when I say goes through it, I'll give you an example. The last time I drove that car in Orange County on a night drive, I went through an entire tank of E85 in just an hour and 15 minutes. So that's never going to be, unfortunately, a rally car. It's never being a car that I drive across country or anything like that. Where the Senna will fulfill those needs. I will tune the Senna to be obviously reliable, somewhat fuel efficient. I know that's a funny word with supercars, but I wanna be able to fill a tank up and go on long drives with that car. So that was the purpose of the Senna. Also, it's a good investment, but I know I wanted a McLaren in my line of cars that I could use for long distance driving. Looks like we're gonna maybe have some decent weather. The sun's trying to poke out, which is good because this new car that I got does not have snow tires. It's going to be an amazing day, you guys. Now, another thing that sucks back fuel, this bad boy right here, that massive 700 horsepower Hellcat supercharged engine. It's not the most fuel efficient thing, I'll tell you that much. Crap, this thing is frozen solid. It was like crunching. This thing, by the way, I think needs some wheels, probably in the spring. These are a pretty sick setup. They work really well for what it is, but I wanna do something a little more special with this. Have you seen Fast X, the new Fast and the Furious movie? The one I went all the way to Rome to do the premiere with my daughter? Well, that movie has a TRX featured on one scene in LA when they're at the Fast House and they're escaping from some bad guys and they go out the back door into the alley in the Fast House and there is this gorgeous all black TRX sitting in the alley. They don't drive it. It's kind of funny. You have to see the scene. I don't want to spoil it for you. That thing is fully modded. Now, I actually found the owner of that vehicle and guess what? It's for sale, but it's 300,000 US dollars. I bought this bad boy for like, uh, let me do the calculations, like 85. I don't want to spend that much money. So I'll get some wheels, some tires, maybe 
mess with the suspension a little bit depending on what I want to do and see if I can get some maybe different flares if we can get the wheels to stick out further. I love the look of that truck, but when I looked into how modified it was, it was basically completely remodified. Like the whole front frame was redone. Again, I don't want to go that crazy, but I know I could do some cool stuff. If you got some cool TRX mods I should do, drop a comment below. Right now we're just sucking back the fuel we're already at $110. Where will it stop? Nobody knows. Hopefully sooner than later. Tim! Tim! Dude, where is this guy? Tim! Tim! Hey! Hey! Oh, what's up, Mark? Dude, I've been calling you. Oh, shoot, my bad. I was just jamming out with my Raycon earbuds. I love these things. Let me tell you all about them. First of all, I wanna thank Raycon for sponsoring this video. As you guys know, my car needs a ton of work, and I've had to put in a few late nights just to make any progress on this car. But thanks to Raycon's everyday earbuds, it has made the process a lot more fun. The Raycon everyday earbuds have eight hours of playtime and a 32-hour battery life. The Raycons are priced just right. You get quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands. The Raycon Everyday Earbuds has three customizable sound profiles. Pure sound, balance sound, and bass sound. Switching between the sound profiles is easy. Just hold down the left earbud for three seconds. My personal favorite is the bass sound. It's tuned specifically for songs with strong beats, especially hip hop, EDM, R&B, and sometimes even reggae. The Everyday Earbuds also have a wide variety of touch features. Control the volume while you're listening to them. Play and pause songs. Go to the next or previous listen to songs. Activate your voice assistance and answer or end phone calls. Click the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash DDE to get 15% off your Raycon purchase plus free shipping. I love these earbuds, you guys, and I know you guys will too. That's buyraycon.com slash DDE. 15% off your Raycon purchase plus free shipping. And we're done, 155.37. We want that receipt for the write-off. Well, you guys, I just got some bad news. You see, the driver that's towing the car to August Legend Motor Cars is going through what's known as Highway Through Hell, or locally it's known as the Coquihalla. It's a super dangerous road in the winter, so much so that the Highway Through Hell was a show of all the crashes and the rescues on that mountain pass. And today, it's extremely icy, which causes these conditions that have all these accidents. So there's gonna be a delay in the delivery of my new supercar. It's gonna be a couple hours, so I'm gonna go and grab a coffee and we're all gonna really hope that one, the driver makes it safe and sound, and the car also makes it safe and sound. This is a very, very dangerous section of road in the winter, and it's no joke. So I'll go grab a coffee, it'll seem like milliseconds for you, but give me a couple hours for me. I got my coffee, it's been a little over two hours, and we're pulling up to August Luxury Motor Cars 3510 Spectrum Court. If you guys need a supercar, or maybe just a daily driver like a truck, you guys can get it here. Hey, is this my guy? I think this is my guy. This isn't Black Shark today. Unfortunately, Carlos was busy and when they've got somebody else delivering my new car. This is it, baby. It made it. Okay, I don't want to give it away, but it is right here inside this trailer. It's going to be the newest and one of the wildest additions to my collection. That is a bold statement, but you guys just have to trust and have faith in my vision. I kind of stole this vision actually a little bit from somewhere else, but you'll get that in a second. You survived. You're in one piece. How bad was the highway through hell? Well, it was closed last night, so I couldn't leave earlier. It was closed. Billionaire Mike is here to the rescue. And we got Benny. Hi, Benny. What's up, big guy? Hi, and he's being a scaredy Hi. cat. Come hey, here, man. mister. How Hi. Doing, How you doing, mister? The dog vlog today, the dog vlog. This guy almost never even made it. Really? The freeway, the highway was closed. Was, uh, closed down It uh, when you leave Hope. And the highway splits number three, number five to yeah. go on the Coca-Cola. Then she goes a big S, eight percent grade. Then I know how slick it was when I came over the other day. Big jackknife, wipeout. Traffic was backed up halfway between Hope and Chilliwack. And this is why they call it Highway Through Hell. And the exact reason why they had an entire TV show based on that freeway. Good. I'm glad you made 
made it. I'm also glad the car made it. You're glad. I'm thankful. <laughs> <laughs> so now, uh, now I got to go load a new Porsche and uh, go back across it again. Oh my gosh. Oh, that sucks. Well, that sucks. No, it doesn't suck. Oh, it does. It gets, gets me back where it's a little warmer. I guess, yeah. <laughs> where, where is it warmer? Yeah, where where is it warmer? Uh, Vegas in a couple oh, of days. Oh, Vegas. Then, I think you said Alberta. So no, I don't no, think it's yeah. warmer there. Vegas is warmer, but still freezing. It's <laughs> still it? cold. Oh, dude. In Vegas? Vegas? Vegas right now is like zero. Yeah, and during the during the day it's like only like ten degrees. Really? Yeah, it's cold. Jeez. Benny, look at your dog's freezing. Are you cold? He's buddy? like, bro. Are you cold? You need a are jacket, you Benny. You Benny. need a jacket, homie. Benny. Are you cold? You know what Benny needs? Benny needs a DDE hoodie. We gotta make dog DDE hoodies. You should. Hey, that Benny. Hey. He's like, take hey. me inside, poor dog. Yo, bro, this is your daily. Yeah. The drug dealer edition murdered out Escalade. Yeah. They're actually nice to drive. They're comfortable. Okay, put your dog inside, come back oh, out and freeze. Here. Are you leaving? No, I'm, yeah, Kelly's gonna take him. Aww. Benny, you gonna go with mom? He's like, just let, he wants inside the building. <laughs> Benny, come with mom. Kelly, how you doing? <laughs> All right, Mike's wife does not want to be on camera. What happened? Your wife kind of freaked out there. She's not camera ready? No. Always got to be camera. You always got to be camera ready. All right, they're going to fire this thing up. We're going to get a proper cold start. Like, this game maybe even be a freezing start. Are you giving so any see. hints or tips? Or no hints. I haven't told them anything. Size, nothing? Nothing. They're going to have to guess based on the sound. We're ready. And then we'll surprise them when it comes out of the back of the trailer. I hope you didn't pay too much for this. It's a mess. I actually paid very little. This might be one of the the cheapest cars in all of Canada for a supercar. <gasps> Fire it up! <laughs> Any guesses? We can't guess. I know. Very distinct sound. What? Very, very distinct sound. Yeah, I don't know though. Like, you might not get it still. I also got a smudge on my lens here. Sorry, guys. So cold right now. I don't think it's got a stock exhaust. I think that's an aftermarket exhaust, so it's it's gonna throw things off a little bit. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah. By the way, this is the cheapest. This is almost got ran over. Yeah. This is the cheapest in all of Canada, maybe North America. Not wrecked, not salvaged, no accidents, clean title, cheapest one in all of North America. Three. My very own Ferrari 599 to the channel. I love driving Dave's 599 so much that I had to get my own. So I got my own black spec, just like Dave's car. Now this car has quite the story because this car is not originally from North America. This car we got from someone who brought it over from Japan. But if you look at the car, you'll notice it's left-hand drive. This car is not from Japan. It's obviously from somewhere else. So we found out it's actually probably from Europe. And I'll tell you right now, we're going to have a lot of fun with this car. Now, this car is a bit of a hot mess. You can see that the dash is doing what the dash typically does in hot weather. It's a little beat up. We also got a very interesting plate situation going on down here. We're going to have to rip that off. I can also really smell clutch. Yeah, me too. Really, smell. really smell it. That probably had something to do with uh, stew actually burning the clutch off as he came out. Because this car has the F1 gearbox. So remember, there were only 25 examples of the V12 Enzo engine front mounted Ferrari 599 ever made in a manual. So there's only 25 examples from Ferrari with a true factory manual gearbox. But our friends at EAG, and don't mind me, I literally actually cannot feel my hands at this point. Our good friends at EAG have a manual conversion kit, which we did to Dave's car. We have another kit already made coming for this car along with a whole bunch of other goodies you guys the exact same race headers and straight pipe exhaust as what Dave has on his car we're gonna make this car scream we're gonna have two of these bad boys on the channel this car is getting an angle kit it's getting a handbrake it is gonna be my tire slayer number three or whatever we want to call it at this point but I love the way that this car sounds all because of the engine that's mounted in the front of this thing holy crap my hands I cannot feel my freaking hands there is aftermarket exhaust. It's got to. It's got to be aftermarket. Hey, let's listen to this thing. Not 
bad for just what we got straight off the, you know, trailer. Woo, holy crap. Uh, we'll be right back after this short hand warming break. Oh, my hands are frozen, bro. It is so cold right now. Damn. Like these little jackets just don't cut it. <laughs> uh, can we grab a dealer plate? Take this thing for just a decent little drive down the road. One, I want to drive it and see what it, you know, obviously feels like because all Mike and I could smell was burnt clutch when it was coming off the trailer. Hopefully that was just Stu's really <laughs> driving. <laughs> but you never know. I mean, in all fairness, we're not really sure what's going on with the car because Dave allegedly had this thing inspected and we've already noticed a whole bunch of weird things with it, including it has an engine light on. Uh oh. These tires are going to be like hockey pucks. It's minus 20 out. What are you worried about? It's some, it's, it's, you got summer tires on it. I know we got summer tires. It's hard as a rock. They're going to be as hard as a rock, but we'll be okay, I think. Well, what is this we? I put a plate on for you. Oh, you're coming. You no, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You're coming for a drive. We'll keep it chill. We'll in? keep it chill. What? The tires are probably from like. Where the hell? What, have you ever heard of them? <laughs> they're not even. They're not Pirelli or anything. <laughs> like some off-brand <laughs> company. I have no idea. I'm well, not going to this. Yeah, this you're totally track. coming in this. <laughs> we got all sorts of treats in the truck. <laughs> what's it going, no what, what's oh going on? Wow. Chocolate. I'm That's on a for diet. You, buddy. This is great. That's for you. Oh, those are nice. Those are nice. <laughs> this thing was specced real good. Uh, those are not factory. Now we got some weird stuff going on here. Let's hope it was this stew burning my clutch on in reverse on the way out, slipping it. Oh, I got the heat cranked in here. Woo! This is another one of my favorite features of the 599. You can place a camera there in the center console perfectly. Yellow stitching on the interior. We have some very cool carbon bucket seats from the factory, which are sweet. You can leave these in. I actually fit these seats. Oh. I smell much in here. Yeah, that's gonna linger. Let's just have a quick look around. First of all, it has some really weird stuff going on. The engine light turned off. Magically. Nice. Just sitting here. That is not factory. This? Push it. Why are you pushing it? No, I don't know what it's gonna do. And then what's this? <laughs> wow. It's... Oh, what's happening? What is going? <laughs> it doesn't know what it wants to do. Okay, wait. Open it, open, 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 open. That's a jet. Okay. It's open. Okay. No! There we go. Dude, the flip up nav. The dash is trashed on this thing. I don't understand this. Well, like we said, we're pretty sure it came from Japan. Now, I don't know if that's Japanese characters, but it's definitely not English. It's definitely not <laughs> We're gonna keep things safe. It's very cold out. Safety first here on Daily Driven Exotics. Billionaire Mike Hall's driving with us. We wanna make sure he is always calm. So the first thing we're gonna do is right here, we're gonna turn everything off. Hold this thing down. Not turning it off. Okay, we're gonna turn that off. We're gonna put this into first gear. Now that everything is officially turned off, there's no traction control, no helpers, no safeties, no nothing. Why are we doing that? Whoa! It's pure ice, bro. Pure ice. Whoa! Whoa! There's no! It doesn't have any grip! There's no grip whatsoever! None! No grip whatsoever! tires are already It's a problem. Whoa! Whoa! There's no grip! None whatsoever! What is going on, dude? We have nothing. Look! Look at the front! The front slides! Yeah! What the hell? No grip! None whatsoever! This car is a death trap right now! Absolute death trap! Look at this! Look at this! Dude, it just plows the front end! What just happened? It just plows the front end! I don't know what happens! The heater! What happened to the heater? I don't know what happened to the heater! It just shut off. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going on. Whoa. Whoa. No, not. Whoa. There's no grip. Uh, nothing. Dude, nothing. There's no grip. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Cops. Did you see that? Or something. Well, it's not a cop. It's no. the mailman, bro. With, why does he have a light on his roof? I 
I don't know. Stop freaking me out. You're so <laughs> sketchy. You're so sketchy. The worst part is I'm trying to do this with one hand. There is zero grip because the front tires are exactly what Mike said. They're hockey pucks. They're probably old. They're non-odd brand. And the whole time we're just sliding around because we can't get any grip on the front to make the back tires spin and go around in a circle. We did a good 180 when we hit the ice there, didn't we? Uh -huh. The front tires are just sliding they around. Just push, completely push, yeah. You want a phone call? Yeah, I want hold. Oh, perfect. Can I get you to hold the camera too? Yeah. Whatsoever. You see him's freaking out? Uh, He's yeah. just screaming in here. I hey, stop it. There's cars everywhere. No. What do you mean? There's cars everywhere. Okay, we're gonna back something. Whoa, we okay. almost died there. So, okay. Oh my god. These have the weirdest exhaust systems. Hey? Yeah. Let's see this. You okay? Yes. I haven't even left the parking lot. It's nice. It is hey? terrible. It's, what? it's not safe. Okay, let's go on the road. No, let's not. And let's send it like 200 kilometers no, an hour. No, we're not going to send it on the road. Get all the ice. Holy, all the ice. Christ, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. This is the stupidest thing ever, to be honest. Okay. It's like, look, watch. Want to hit the brakes? Oh, no, we're not stopping. No, that's what I mean. We're not stopping. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You son of a All right? Okay, the thing we want to do is we just want to hear the exhaust note. So we're going to be really careful. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, that's not terrible. Whoa. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa. Son of a whoa. Whoa. Just wait until we manual swap this. No grip, Mike. Nothing. Zero grip. Nothing. Oh, we can't stop. We can't stop. So we can't. Oh, oh yeah. See, she doesn't stop. Oh, okay. Whoa! So, man. Let's go faster. No, let's not. There's zero traction. Wow, these uh, zero brakes. Zero traction. Yeah, it's because of these. What are the tires called? I don't know. We don't know. Okay. Hold on. I want to hear the exhaust. Shifter right here, you get clutch, more control, oh, yeah. and brake. Can't wait. Right now, there's no control. <laughs> and no brakes, like it's sheer ice. Oh, sh you son of a. Whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Go whoa. Back. That was weird. It's like it slid and we like drifted that corner by accident. Look at how cold it is here. What's your problem? It's freezing. I know. sounds and this is this is an aftermarket exhaust we don't know what kind probably made by the same no name company the tires are from we're gonna fix all of that and this is going to be an absolute tear of a machine and if we have two of them that means that formula drift champion michael essa and myself can do tandem donuts together in tandem ferraris can you even imagine that ferraris on ice look at this watch hit the brakes that's, that's fully locked up. That, that's why I was scared. Oh, 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 we almost smacked into something there. Then we're going sideways, that the trailer and everything. Whoa! He motors around here so fast. And in the smallest areas, he does donuts. Look at this. Hey, come on, this is fun. Oh, this. oh jump out here and let me do some snow donuts. Right here. Yeah. Snow nuts, man. Some snow nuts? Snow nuts for the delivery day. That's what it's all about. I don't know. And if I get stuck, we have a million trucks to tow us out.
nice and slow. All right, should we take it inside? I would say. All right, let's go. delivery break-in. The best part is we haven't even paid for the car yet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it does have some weird aftermarket parts and I doubt that they're factory. So I'm gonna point out a few things that this car has, funny enough, that Dave's car doesn't have. It does have a factory spot on the fender for the shield. So I don't think these are factory. I think these are aftermarket. Regardless, I could have a shield on the fender. This car also has carbon mirrors. Probably not factory. Maybe, we'll have to look. I think probably aftermarket. And it has a carbon fiber side skirt of all things. A few fun things. Oh, and it's even got this piece is carbon. Oh, and a carbon gas cap. Man, this car's got all the carbon. The door handle too. The door handle's carbon. Yeah, it's got some really random carbon pieces. Anything else? Oh yeah, we got some decent snowage. Snowage. Is that a stock exhaust? I don't think it's stock. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. Like, listen to it. No, that ain't stock. There's no way. Can you give it a few reps for us? I want to hear it out here. Not bad, not bad, but we have some major improvements to make. For now, let's just take this thing safely inside August Luxury Motor Cars showroom. Nice and chill. Oh, sorry, my bad, my bad. Oh, parking sensors work. Sounds good. You asked a very important question, didn't you? And the question was, wasn't this car inspected? And I said, yeah, allegedly. Dave said, yeah, car's perfect. He said, I got it for a steal of a deal. Probably the cheapest 599 you're ever gonna find in North America. We paid for this car $90,000. That's it. Oh, well, aftermarket carbon? You don't know that. Don't, don't, you just kicked my car. I'm pretty sure it is top. You just kicked my car. It. He just kicked I just it. it. He's like, I think it's aftermarket carbon. I know you. You know, I was walking around, hitting everything. I was touching it. Look under here. Look at carbon fiber diffuser. Oh, yeah. Nice. Definitely aftermarket. You can tell by look at look at the edge. Yeah. See the ripple in it? Not the greatest quality. However, the perfect start to a project car that I want for a very specific reason, which I yet cannot tell you what the event is that this car is specifically being built for. This car, it's a whole purpose. It's got a whole build laid out ahead of it, and it's for a very, very specific monumental event here on Daily Driven Exotics. I just can't I can't break the news to you yet. So all you're getting is deli a delivery video today. Mike knows why we're getting this car. I do. And how crazy is the purpose of this car? Crazy. Right? Crazy. Crazy. So crazy. And this is the perfect Damon Fryer Beater V12 Ferrari. Now, for $90,000 US, this is a steal. And it's all because of what's under here. Now, you guys have seen this before, but I want to show you guys again. Right there, the heart of the beast, the Enzo Ferrari V12 engine that screams. Yeah, this car has seen better days. Chassis number beater. <laughs> Good morning. Guess what we just got? What do you got? It's here. Oh, it looks the exact same as the other one. How funny is that? No, it does. No, it doesn't look the same as the other one. You had this car inspected? Yeah, by um. Raymond. Oh, you want to see this car? This thing has seen better days. There's like oil and debris all over the engine. It smelled like burnt clutch when it came off the trailer. A really nice dash. I, I knew about that. Interior is beat to hell. You have to see it in person. Probably on camera won't do it justice. It has all the aftermarket carbon. <laughs> It's all carbon here. It has a full carbon diffuser, which is absolute garbage. It has a really, it has a really weird exhaust, which does sound better than stock. I'll give it that. This is the perfect project car for what I want to do with it. So thank you for finding this car. Dave found this car, you guys, on Facebook Marketplace of all places. I knew the paint was a bit rough. I knew the dash was peeling. But I didn't know about the, any engine issues. That's interesting. It seems to run okay because I just bounced it off the rev limiter in, in second gear in the snow for about three minutes straight. So it didn't blow up. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is the perfect project car. Now we're gonna be twinning, and now we can do tandem donuts. I haven't said anything more to the audience about why I got this car, or what the specific purpose is, or what the big event I should say that this car is really intended for, but that's coming soon. Thank you again for getting this car for me. You're very welcome. Uh, I hope you love it. It is a pinnacle of our friendship as far as its design, form, and function, and the way it arrived to you on time. Yeah, guy was two hours late. Yeah, there was ice apparently on the roads. Yeah, there was a huge accident, highway through hell. Okay, I love you, don't make it weird, bye. <laughs> this is gonna be an epic project, you guys, be excited. I know you understand with the manual gearbox and the straight pipe, what this car sounds like and some of the possibilities of what it can do, I promise you. Get me behind the wheel in the right environment, stay tuned with my car built the way I want it built and it's going to be absolute DDE mayhem shenanigans fest 3.0 2024 we're going all in. You're gonna have FD champion Michael Essa in the other 599, me chasing him at a very, very special event. That's all I'm gonna say. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Okay.